I'm just another man in this world that's hungry for something. The thing is, I don't know what I'm hungry for. I was eating some desires that I know won't help me. It must have been poison, so toxic and sickening. I was looking for something that could satisfy me, but it doesn't. When I consume, when I eat it, it doesn't end up in my body, but apparently it's my spirit, because some days I feel ungodly. I knew that something was missing. I need God to bless me. Holy Spirit, please touch me. All I was chasing was junk food, and my health was not good. I felt like I was drifting away from Christ until He opened up my eyes and made me realize the issue when I heard Him say, Son, where were you? Um, what do you mean, Lord? I have never left you. Well, when was the last time you've seen me? It's been a while since I spoke to you. And sadly, that is true. I have been spending time with God in His Bible, and that's what I should be hungry for. And that's what I needed more. I pray to Him on a, every day, and I sing to Him during Sunday and Friday in church, and I read my Bible every time I go to church, but I don't read the Bible, and that doesn't show that He's worship. And it was on me. I blame myself. And I put God on the shelf. But I really need His help. Lord, please, please be my priority in life. I welcome you in. I shouldn't have starved myself from you when I should have starved from my sin. Because when my flesh is feeling hungry, um, wait. When my flesh is feeling hungry, wants to go over the unhealthy, and thinks it benefits me, but truthfully, it kills me softly. Lord, I want to cling to your word, cling to your love, cling to your grace when the baby will meet and see your face. I'm of the church. You're the husband. We're your bride. We will fly. Life's our prize. We come inside. It's like our spirits are birds. Like when we're fully grown, and our wings are grown, we get to fly back home. But sometimes I question myself, am I one of those that will be left alone, Lord? Apparently, I can't fly yet. But is it because I'm still trying, or am I not born? Wait, if you are born, how do you grow? Food, nutrients. So if I to stay in church, the pastor speaks, but I don't listen, it's like not receiving my breakfast of the day. No wonder I feel a little weak. When you learn it, that's gaining more knowledge. But applying it to your life means gaining more wisdom. A recipe or a supplement could be a way to view a sermon. But the fact that it's not applied explains how we sometimes can't handle burdens. But hey, God's chosen not the older ones that are hungry for Him. I can see the hunger in the world's eyes. Homelessness, for instance. Hungry for food, home, shelter, but deep down they're just hungry for hope. And that is in Christ. Or how about in the influential media? Rap stars and singers saying, all you need is money, drugs, and sex. They're changing the world's mindset. It is evident that they're hungry for satisfaction. Looking in the wrong places because true satisfaction is in Christ. America is hungry. And I'm not saying that because it's an obese country. But one out of three of America's population lives in a house with no father. They're hungry for a father. But listen, there is a father that wants to be a part of your life. One that keeps his promise of never leaving you, nor forsaking you, and that's Jesus Christ. All of your hopes, all of your needs, and all of your desires are in him. And it should not be about what he can give or do to you. It should be your pursuits for him and him alone. Because there is a place that Jesus wants us to be. A place he promised you and me. Because he would 
love to see is children. And what I mean by God's children, I mean those who accept him because he accepts us. Those who have a relationship with him because he seeks a relationship with us. And those who remain faithful when he was faithful to us. So what are you hungry for? Because Jesus can see your stomach scrumbling. He knows you're hungry for something. And when it comes to being hungry for Jesus, are you made hungry? And I'm sure I'm not the only one.